Hey, so I told you I'd be back. <laughs> I know, right? Um, without glasses though, because you know, there's a glare in this cloudy day. Sure, why not? Um, so I wanted to actually jump on because I wanted to tell you a little bit about the uh, love of my life. I know you guys never see him. He's like this mythical creature. Sorry, let me get adjusted here. This mythical creature that um, I talk about. Um, but he is amazing. He is the person who um, supports me, drives me, pushes me, um, helps me in my uh, crazy chaotic world. And um, so he's not a, he's an introvert. Um, he's not a camera person. Sorry, I was picking off, picking off all the hair. I shed a lot. It's no wonder my husband doesn't want a dog. I mean, I shed enough for three dogs. Anyways, um, he, uh, he doesn't like to be on camera. Um, he doesn't like to be in front of people. Um, so I'm not going to put that upon him, <laughs> um, but he is awesome and amazing, and his name is Elijah, and um, we actually met, I used to sell Aflac insurance, so I would go into these um, businesses and, <clears throat> and companies, and I would conduct these meetings with these people and tell them why they need um, Aflac insurance, which I love Aflac. Um, great insurance company, great company in general, um, love them, good Christian foundation, it's all family run, awesome. So, um, but anyways, I was at his shop and we do a group meeting and I go over all the products and whatnot and then um, we sit down one-on-one -on -one with them. And I was sitting down with him and um, my job was to, you know, find out more about his life. So find out, does he have any children? Is he married? You know, get his birth date, social, all that fun stuff. <laughs> Great way to meet somebody, huh? Anyways, um, he was just so daggone cute. And my crazy pickup line was, um, I feel like I know you. How do I know you? And um, so... After that, I got all his information, and he was traveling to India, and um, I sent him a little text on his birthday because when I signed him up was July and his, or no, August, and his birthday was in September. And I sent him a text message. I didn't know he was in India. And I said, hey, you know, happy birthday. Hope it's a good one, blah, blah, blah. And he sends back. Um, oh, you know, it's crazy. You're the first person that wished me happy birthday, whatever. And we actually talked a little bit. Um, and then that was it. And then when he came back, he kept asking me out. But because of the time lapse and because he worked at a shop and whatnot, I just kind of kept saying like, oh, no, you know, I'm good or whatnot. And so finally he asked me out like 13 times. And I thought he was just trying to be nice. <laughs> and so finally he said, uh, look, if you're not interested in me, let me know and I'll move on. And in my naive, I guess, way, I was like, oh, you're serious. Oh, okay. So we met up. And we met up right after his work, and he was super stressed because it was the day his dad found out that he needed a heart surgery. So our first date was me basically trying to pull out questions um, from him. But he was very intriguing, and I could have deep conversation with him, and he listened when I talked, and he was very um, respectful. He opened doors, um, pulled out seats. Uh, offer to pay the bill and I love that and so I kept coming back for more and for the first um, few months we could only see each other for like two hours at a time an hour at a time because I had kids and I was single and blah 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 so that is our life story um, we made it through it we got married um, after not even I think a year of dating had twins and boom here we are so all right I just wanted to share that with you um, what's your love story Hit me up. Let me know. I love it. I love love stories.
All right, I will talk to you guys later. Um, I can't wait to hear all the juicy love stories. How did you and your, your beau, um, your significant other meet? All right, guys, bye.